All right, I see Io taking a seat. Derek, you tell me when you guys are ready. Are you guys ready? Io, can you We're hear us? Ready All right, we'll go ahead and just start with questions. Andy Olson, uh, Channel Three, go ahead with uh, questions for Io. Hey, Io, I just wanted to know about your your mindset down the stretch. I mean, you scored the game tying bucket, then you scored the first five in overtime. Uh, it seems like you kind of took over. Just what was going through your mind and uh, just willing the team to that win? Um, you know, it was a it was a hard fought out game, but what really what hit me when I'm like, all right, it's time to lock in. Um, I, I believe it was a, a a free throw, a one and one. We were down two. You know, I missed the front end of a one and one. We're down two. Then they come down. I believe they hit a three. You know, we were down five. And I'm like, all right, like it, it's time to lock in. I looked at the time. Coach called the timeout. We were down five. Or like three minutes left. I'm like, all right, it's, you know, we good. You know, just. Trust in yourself, believe in your instincts, you got this. All the work you put in, I just told myself that. I'm like, all right, let's go, let's try to get the W. And then I believe I hit a pull-up jump shot. And then after that, it was just, all right, I'm like, all right, let's, let's try to wheel my team to victory. And I saw you talking a lot down the stretch, but I noticed particularly the conversations you were having with Adam Miller. Just what were you talking to him in those last couple of minutes um, after some of the plays? And I imagine it was a little bit of a freshman learning experience there. Yeah, you know, he's a freshman. He's a great player, and he's in, a, uh, he's in a, a, a very interesting environment, you know, which you don't really see a lot of freshmen, you know, come in on a highly ranked team. So um, I was just on him about, you know, the importance of, uh, of not letting um, Nebraska get in, get in our heads. You know, they were, they were down three, and they were trying to foul, get chippy. You know, the, the, they called a double tech early in the game, and I didn't want to give Nebraska any easy points because um, our defense was, was so well down the stretch. So I just told him, like, yo, don't, don't, don't fall into that trap. Uh, just, just play solid defense. Try to use your hands. Like, don't, don't force the ref to, to call a foul. And um, yeah, that was pretty much it. He, he took it. He sucked. He soaked it in, and um, we were able to get the W. Thanks, Robert, Robert Rosenthal, you're up, and then we'll go to Rob McCauley. Go ahead, Robert. Io, expanding on those stats, um, looks like Trent hit a three with eight minutes to go, and then you scored the next 15 points for Illinois. The final ten in regulation, first five in overtime. Um, just talk me through what what a moment like that is. What your teammates are saying to you, you know how that how that role gets going. Oh, they just told me, you know, let, let, let's go home. You know, they believe in me down the stretch to make plays. Um, I was trying to make the, the best plays possible. Um, you know, Colf got fouled some, um, so I was just trying to make 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 the play to help our team win. Um, and they, they they believed in me. Um, we did a great job. We were able to get stops, and um, we were able to score when needed to. You know. Don't look at Nebraska's record. You know, they're, they're a very good team, one of the best conferences. They're in the best conference in college basketball. So, you know, someone has to lose. But overall, they're, they're a, a very well-coached team. Uh, Coach Hoiberg, he, he gets them playing hard. And, you know, when you have six, number six in the country, you're going to get the team's best shot. You know, I remember my freshman year when we were on that end, where we were the hunting, we were hunting teams, you know, when we played teams like Michigan State and Maryland. Those were the games where you get extra – adrenaline for it. and you know they had it tonight but the good thing we got the win we're a veteran team we're able to get the win that that's um, what's best and then maybe the most i saw excited i saw you out there was after the block to send it to overtime um talk me through that play and and what that was now that was just just pure emotion um pure joy you know i understood the game wasn't going our way um we could have found ways to fold we could have took the ease way out and pointed fingers but you know, down the stretch, you know, we made plays. And um, that was a huge play. Um, I knew all we needed to do was get five more minutes. I knew we were going to pull it out the way we were playing down the stretch. And we did that. So that was just, you know, pure raw emotion just showing. Thanks. Hey, uh, Rob McCauley and Jeremy Warner on deck. Go ahead, Rob. I, uh, if you can remember back to the early part of the game, were you guys having a difficult time reacting to the matchup zone? Um, I wouldn't say that. I, I just think that early on we were a little tentative when it came to our our um, selections with shots. Um, we were making the right plays, but we were we were like overthinking, you know, to drive it or to 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 throw in the post. And I, I believe we got like you know um, locked down with that. But when we got comfortable, we started making shots, started making plays, and we fixed that. We made adjustments on our defense, and um, it was it was pretty cool. And later in the game, it looked like you personally sort of had it in the bag, but the thing you were fighting was fatigue. Were, were the legs holding up for you? Were you breathing hard? Oh, you know, I, I found ways to, to, to dig deep. You know, at a time like this, 
you know, we, we plan for so much, you know, our, our goals are, are so much. Um, fatigue wasn't nothing I was thinking of. You know, that's pretty much mental. Um, I, I told myself, give it all you got. And then after the game, you can get treatment. But during that time, no, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking of fatigue. All right. Thanks. Congratulations. Okay, yes, we'll go with uh, Jeremy and then uh, Gavin. Real quick, y'all. He liked that. <laughs> I want y'all to know he liked that. He nice with it. He liked that. Let's go. Um, um, I, oh, I, I know we've asked you about this because you've done this so often in closing time. When or how does that switch flip for you? Um, and, and what goes into that as a team? Is it just, hey, get out of the way? Or what happens then? Um, they just believe me. Like I said, it, it comes with connectivity with your teammates. Um, and also in practice, you know, my teammates, when we do situations, they believe me to make the right play. And that's all just trusting them. So I thank them for allowing me to, to trust me to make the right plays, whether it's to shoot it or to pass it. And I just go out there, and, and like I said, I just really just trust in my instinct. I trust in my um, God-given, you know, talent, of course. And I just go out there and just play freely and just try to do whatever it takes to win, whether it's to, to score or whether it's to hit a, a teammate for a shot. And like, but they just, they believe in me. They, it, it's easy when, when your teammates believe in you and they, you know, they allow you to, to, to do what you can do best down the stretch. Is there something defensively that happens or something differently offensively that you guys put into place there? You, you're talking about down the stretch? Yeah, just does, does something open up for you? I, I, I mean, it's just a, like I said, it's the wheel. It's, the, the, it's a mentality that, you know, studying like Mamba mentality, um, all those great players, it's just a, 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 a wheel. It's like a, a factor that just hits in. Um, it's like a, a bass, like a, a take up a bass that hits in and allows you to just down the stretch, try to do whatever it takes to win. Um, that's why I was so emotional in the overtime because I knew we had five more minutes to win. I just want to win so bad. Um, this team, we've been through so much adversity. So, you know, down the stretch, uh, uh, we have a chance to win and we do make plays to win. You know, that, that raw emotion, that, that mentality to be the best and try to just win, it, it comes out. Thanks, Hal. Okay, go ahead, Gavin. I know it seemed like Coleman in, in some of these games here has given you guys a new element. Um, seemed like he did that tonight in the first half a little bit. Um, what did you see from him out there? He did a great job. He was aggressive. Um, I love when he's aggressive. Um, Coleman is a, a great player. Um, he's very skilled. He's going to be very good, I promise you. And um, he came out aggressive. Even one time when he went in there, I believe he got a shot blocked or it was a – um, he, he turned it over. I love it. You know, he, he's an aggressive player. He's so good. I'm so high on him. Uh, his upside is amazing. So whenever he's out there playing with confidence, I'm cool with that because I know how good he's going to be. Absolutely. Um, you guys are on another run here, kind of similar to that, uh, I think, seven-game winning stretch you had last season. Um, over these last couple of years, what, what have you guys learned about being able to, to put together th these long runs like that and not having a slip up in between games? I mean, it takes days like this, games like this, winning games like this. You know, every game is going to be pretty. Um, every game is going to be all the shots going in, you know, uh, Illinois, Illinois. It's not going to be like that. That's not the reality of it. So we just try to stay focused. We know that to how many games it takes to win the NCAA tournament. So we we're, we have a goal now. We're trying to, you know, win games in a row so we can simulate that. So when the NCAA tournament comes, we, we'll be ready and prepared and already, you know, accomplish it. Thanks, Ayo. Okay, Joey Wagner, Brandon on deck. Go ahead, Joey. Hey, Io, you mentioned that those games your freshman year against top five, top ten teams. What do you remember about how you personally went into those games, and what did you take out of of that feeling that like maybe Nebraska felt in this game? I mean, I, I wouldn't lie to you. When I played those high ranked teams, I, I wanted to go out there and kill. Like I wanted to go out there and like hurt their, hurt their, you know, hurt their season or you know hurt their night. You know, that's just the, the competitive nature in me. So I knew Nebraska had the same feeling. And, you know, them on the court, talking on the court, hearing their bits, they had the same feeling. You know, you have number six in the, in, in the country. You know, they're 0-7. Like, they really have nothing to lose. Um, everyone already counted them out of this game. So it really makes us have to execute better. I think we, we did a poor job executing um, to the potential of where we want to be at. But at the end of the day, you know, that left column, it, it always says win. You know, there's no – more victories, no almost win, or it just says win. So that I'm great to grateful to, to get this win. And did you learn anything in those games a couple of years ago with how the other team 
kind of carried themselves to, in some cases, avoid an upset that, that you can translate now? Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's a, a, a mental toughness that you have to always have. Coach always harps on us about that. You know, you have to be extra, extra ready. Like, you can't be ready. You have to be extra, extra ready because the other team's adrenaline, the other team's mindset is to come out here and play as hard as they can. So it might be some shots that typically don't go in, but, you know, just to, I don't know, it's how basketball is where it just, it just falls. So we have to be extra locked in, you know, um, talking to the guys. We, we, we really learned a valuable lesson tonight, which is each and every possession, you have to value it, value it and you have to come out and play as hard as you can because, you know, the other team who's looking to beat you, they really have nothing to lose. Thanks, okay, we'll go with uh, we'll go with Brandon Schemberg, and this will be the last question for I.O. Uh, coach, uh, ready to go. Go ahead, uh, Brandon. Hey, I.O., uh, you guys turned the ball over nine times in the first half, but then only four times the rest of the game. So maybe what was wrong in the first half and would you guys kind of do better later in the game? Um, I think we had some very silly turnovers. You know, of course, I believe I had three in the first half. Um, yeah, just silly turnovers that definitely are correctable. You know, late game, we did a – we late. I mean, second half, we did a great job taking care of the ball. Whenever we don't turn the ball over, we're a very scary team. Um, yeah, just I think some of our turnovers are silly. We had a lot of silly turnovers that are very correctable. Okay, thanks, Brandon. All right, thanks, Io. Congratulations. Great, great finish tonight. Thank you. All right, with Coach, we'll –